now we're back to the daily driver special. I know you guys saw this pop up on the channel a few weeks ago and a lot of you were wondering what happened to it. Um, it's just been on the back burner for a while, um, but now we're starting to get to it. Uh, when we bought the car, the only few things that I noticed that were wrong with it, um, it obviously was in a front end impact uh, to the point where the transmission broke, the transmission was replaced, um, but the people who replaced it obviously didn't know how to rehome a shifter linkage. Um, every time you would want to go into third, it wanted to pop right, you know, that's where first was. So we're going to be uh, rehoming the shifter. And the other thing that's got to be done on this bad boy is it needs two new uh, turbo gaskets, the four bolt and the three bolt. So we're going to be getting to that too. Things first is we're going to remove the battery in the air box. Alright, now this car hasn't thoroughly been gone through it all yet, and a few things that I'm noticing is that at some point there was HIDs in here because the ballasts are still here. At least one of them. I'll try and locate the other one at some point here, but not today. That'll be another video. Alright, and as most of you can tell, this isn't a factory airbox. A lot of you will have a little bit of a different procedure here. Alright, and now that the battery and the airbox have been removed, you can see down here, you find your counterweight. That counterweight is what's attached to your linkages here. These things right here with the springs, these are your linkages. These are what we're going to be adjusting. Now what you would do is you're going to pull back on the collar and you're going to rotate it and it should lock into place. See? Alright, you're going to do this on both linkages. Okay. Now you guys a deep look. See this little plastic tab sticking off here? This little L shape right there? That's the neutral lockout. Now what we have to do, hold that. Alright, is we're gonna push down on the counterweight. Alright, and you'll feel it rotate the whole assembly down. And we're gonna have to try and lock that pin inwards. Alright, but be very gentle with it. It's only plastic, alright? and you can shear it off quite easily if you're not careful with what you're doing. All right, and now just to make sure that you're in neutral, you wanna make sure that this whole assembly can go up and down, okay? If you're too far, you know, in one way, it's not gonna go up or down. You wanna find where you can still pull it up or down. Now with it pushed down, you should be able to rotate this locking pin in. See, and there we are. Now the, now the L is facing up, we're locked into neutral. Alright, and now we got to go in the car and set up the shifter to be aligned. Alright, and now we're on the inside of the car and we got to get to the bottom of the shifter here. First thing you're going to want to do, we got to pull the boot up. This car, the interior is, you know, it's in rough shape, but we'll be putting it all back together in recent weeks. Uh, so in this one, boot pops right up. Uh, yours, you might need a flathead or uh, panel tools work the best, with little plastic pry bars. Uh, and what, what you're going to want for this part is a 5 millimeter Allen key. <clears throat> now, you can see this hole here and that hole there? Well, those are our homing lines. So you drop the 5, five mil right down in there. wiggle the linkage it's getting stuck I got a helper it's biting on the, the linkage up top that threaded rod is biting so he's gonna wiggle that while I wiggle this other one
There we go. Good. Yep. All right, hold on. All right, you want to try and drive this Allen key down in as far as you can. Because that's when you know you're going to, you know, the further down you go, the more lined up it's going to be. All right, and that looks like about on the money for us. All right, now that's all you got to do in here for right now. Back to under the hood. All right, now we're back at our linkages. I like to just give them a wiggle so that you can kind of feel for where the thread, you know, the threaded rod wants to sit in the middle. And I kind of pinch it closed by hand. And then you twist your return tab. All right, make sure the spring comes all the way back. Now that linkage is homed. Now we're going to get down to this one. Wiggle it around. Pinch the fingers closed. Rotate the collar. Alright, and now to finish this job up, pan out a little. Alright, don't worry. Alright, All right, to finish this job up, we gotta release that tab now. Alright, so you wanna push down on that transmission linkage just a little bit, wiggle it, and rotate it back out. Alright, and now we should be able to shift through all the gears. Alright, now we're back inside. Time to pull our Allen key up and out. And before we put it all back together, we just want to try and shift through all the gears. Reverse first. Gotta tell you, that feels a lot better than it did. I kept wanting a money shift. You go into third and first is right there. That's never fun. Oh yeah, feels much better. All right, now we can put it all right back together. We'll probably be putting a new boot in here, maybe a new knob. I don't know. This one's technically my girl's car, but this is going to be our daily for now until the race car is running. All right, now we've got to put the stuff in the engine bay back together. All right, now we're getting ready to put the battery back in. Cords out the way. Put the right battery back in. This battery is obviously way too big for this car. Uh, this is the battery that will be going in the race the race car until I can afford an Optima or something like that. But it's got plenty of amperage. It's from a BMW. It's got, uh, I think, seven, yeah, 790 cold cranking amps. So... Alright, and that about wraps it up. Now our shifter's home, and we should be able to shift like butter now.